guess who we are battling today? Dun dun dun! It's the founder of the Pokemon's Never Use Federation, where Pokemon's is never used, and I still don't get what that thing is supposed to mean, but eh, whatever. We have an NU match against Forever, he recently got his Wi-Fi working, so I thought, eh, might as well. Here's a little preview, I'm battling him for my 200th video special, not my 400 sub special, that's against another guy. So that's a little hint for you, this battle is just to pretty much test out if his Wi-Fi will work in a battle, he leaves with a tripod, I lead with my Yon Mega. If his sleep powder meets, misses, then sucks to be him, If and then I get to sleep him, but that's not the case. He U turns, gets a crit, ah, beginner's luck, ha 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 ha. And then he goes out to this freaking Torco, which I did not want to hypnosis, but I end up hypnosising hypnosis it anyway. That was a hard tongue twister right there. Anyway, I didn't go for the U-turn. Why did I not go for the U-turn? I do not know. Anyway, I'll come my Krichev Skoy because I know that I can safely wall this thing. One, I have Water Veil. Two, I have Aqua Tail. But he sends out this stupid Jump Bluff thing and I went for the Substitute. And I was kind of hoping he didn't have any grass moves like Giga Drain. But then again, which idiot wouldn't pack Giga Drain? Well, forever for one. Anyway, I'm just gonna go for the Aqua Tail right now because there's nothing much else that I can do against well that jump blocks and I figure the best thing I can do is to get damage on it and break a potential sash. Out comes a stupid Ampharos with some very attractive and suggestive ball capsules indeed. And I go for the Aqua Tail. I get a crit here but in return he gets the Parahex and I guess that kinda makes up for the crit on my Yon Mega although that didn't really matter now did it. Anyway out comes his Rape Sauce, his Signature Poke, his Tauros and I am not going to stay in because of the Intimidate. And two, I have a Steel type to switch in so why not. His weak return, haha, ha, ha, weak, does absolutely nothing to my fatality at all, and I totally forget about this stupid taco for some ugh, stupid reason. Now I've obviously got to go get out of there, and I'm just gonna go to my Krichev Skoy because I see no threat coming from that thing, but he decides to get a effing one turn wake and start to curse, so that's not nice. As a result, my Aqua Tail doesn't even do half and he's gonna get more curses and uh, well anyone with common sense will just go for the Aqua Tail and hope for it to crit, right? No, I do not have any common sense whatsoever, I go for the Substitute. As he goes for the Gyro Ball, which is quite innovative on his part, but eh, 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 ain't gonna work on the Krichev Skoy, especially on the Paralyzed Krichev Skoy. Although in the anime he's kinda already dead, you know, but eh, let's just ignore that fact. Maybe he reincarnated into a sea king, dun dun dun. And do you realize I'm digressing on purpose because there isn't really much else to say. I'm just getting walked dead by this effing Torco which would just not get critted at all which is just plain annoying. And to rub it in, I can't even send out my young mega to screech it because of the white smoke and then he starts to amnesia and his Torco was like, can you help me forget the wanna feel like this forever? Forever! Yeah, it's actually a song. It's... what is it? Would It Matter by Skillet. Dang, I love that song. Anyway, out comes my Magnum and... Well, as soon as he started to amnesia, I wasn't nearly this calm during the battle. I was literally going ape shit. So now I'm just gonna set up my Magnum 1 to set up the Reflect 2 to set up the Lead C, but of course my Magnum always misses those damn high accuracy moves. Like, I miss Leaf Storm all the time, as the acoustic kind. I miss Leech Sheet twice, once again soon if I acute and once here. And I'm just gonna bet I'm gonna miss Swagger in this battle, although if I will use Swagger or not, you shall see for yourself. Anyway, it's pretty much desperate times here, and desperate times call for desperate measures. I'm just going to have to go to my fatality. I stress the word have here, because my fatality is the only thing on this team which has toxic. I should have done that a lot earlier, Ah, but a lot earlier I was fearing the fire move because which sane person would not put lava plume on a torco or at least even overheat or flamethrower or something. Just because he doesn't get physical fire steps doesn't mean you don't have to completely ignore his only step move you know. So I finally get that thing toxic, thank god it does not miss, otherwise I will be very very pissed. And I'm just gonna go to my Krichev Squire which gets one 
effing shotted by earthquake. I was just staring at the screen and going WTF that Torco I might I might I might just get swept by a Torco. If only Ash's Torco was half as tough as this, then he would never need Pikachu ever again, but eh. Ash's Torco fails anyway, not that I've actually watched the anime, I just know it fails because well anything after Johto in terms of the anime fails because I mean let's face it, how does a Glacier lose to a effing Piplup in a contest? I'm sorry, even if Pokesis was using that Piplup, I'd have win with my Glacier, no question. And I'm digressing again. This time it was purely unintentional. Anyway, how comes my fatality? I'm just gonna go stall for the last turn of his Torco's existence with Endure, and he is going to die a horrible, painful, and slow death. Although I kind of didn't want the slow part because the effing Torco took out like, well, it took out my, 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 whatever. I'm not even gonna count, otherwise I'll lose some sleep over it. <laughs> anyway, out comes that stupid tripod. My cast up berry lets me get the endeavor off. He goes for the U turn for some dumbass reason, which both of us did not comprehend. Which allows me to get a free turn with fatality, and I'm just gonna scout for his choice item here, not that it will do me any good anyway. I just felt like being a dick and going for the endure. <laughs> Yes, I know I'm such a... I, I, I've even run out of words to describe myself. Anyway, my fatality dies. That stupid Tauros is looking very damn scary right now. And I'm gonna send out my own Scarfer, my Hunter Type R. But he goes for the return and hit, hits my Type R first. So, kind of shows me his, he, he, he is Scarfed. Which means I'm gonna get swept. Anyway, I'm just gonna send out my Yon Mega Death Fodder because, well, I have my Grace Glaze left. Grace Glaze is, isn't gonna be taking two of those returns, but I, I, I am confident about taking one of those returns with Base 130 special, uh, Base 110 Defense and Signature Poke versus Signature Poke. He is gonna run like a pussy. Come on, you ugly mothers. Are you scared of Grace Glaze or what? Anyway, that stupid tripod is an obvious and blatant Death Fodder, so both of our leads kinda just went up in smoke like that. And speaking of going up in smoke, he he's gonna flamethrower me dead, and I was kind of actually expecting to survive this somehow, but not a chance with his stupid life or hunter type R go for the brave bird, and I genuinely thought this would at least KO and get me a two nil loss, but type R, I am disappointed in you. You suck, man. <laughs> you suck. Anyway, that's a good game forever. I'll be getting my revenge of my 200th video special. And goodbye, people. I hate you a lot. Really. Yes, I do. Bye.